there are a lot of questions about how the international community can help in this moment because um, you know the people who are watching the protests from the outside, whether they're in the diaspora, Iranian diaspora, or just concerned citizens of the world, you know their bodies are not out in the streets facing this repressive leadership up close and personal. But there are lots of ways that the international community can support and ways that could happen today. So first of all, um, UN member states can call a special session of the UN Human Rights Council to discuss the situation and the discriminatory legal framework against women that is imposed by the Islamic Republic of Iran. And they can call a special session to discuss what the international community's response should be. And also the establishment of a UN investigative mechanism. That would be a body that functions to document, to preserve and collect evidence of violations that the Islamic Republic of Iran is committing against protesters and the kinds of crimes that it committed against Nasa Jina Amini and so many others. This kind of evidence is going to be necessary to use in future accountability processes, whether that's in international criminal courts or national courts that can look into international crimes or even one day in domestic trials in Iran um, if the judiciary is independent and if there is space to do so and to hold perpetrators accountable. Other things that the international community can do is is to look at all the assets that are held offshore by Islamic Republic of Iran officials and their children who live, work, and study in North America and Europe. So even though the fathers of these children have a lot of rhetoric about the West that is anti-West, the children are living, working, and studying in these countries. Um, they're not on targeted human rights sanctions lists. And they're free to do that. So we really need to clamp down on these corrupt monies, these monies that are secured on the back of human rights violations against the Iranian people. And jurisdictions like Canada have a major role to play here because there are a lot of reported assets that are linked to the Islamic Republic in Canada. The Canadian government should immediately set up a task force to investigate these claims, to look at asset tracing, and to use its new legislation in Canada that allows for seizure of perpetrator assets and transfer to victims and survivors of their crimes.